Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend Pretty coming at your face with some legacy gameplay. And I'm going to be talking in this voice today. I don't know why I just randomly chose to do that, but fuck it. Man from Nantucket. We got ourselves some more Paragon gameplay and some more Paragon conversation up in here. And today's going to be a pretty juicy topic, man. I'm going to start saying that word a lot. I'm sorry if it makes you cringe, but it's better than saying the word moist, right? Like, this juicy news just making me so moist, man. Like, ugh, you know, like, fuck. But, <laughs> anyway, we're going to be talking about PS4, right? PS4, PS4, dun, dun, dun. Uh, a lot of older paragon youtubers are coming out of the woodworks and i'm actually happy to see that man the, the, the band's all back together right like we're all we're all coming back but i just i want to go on the record real quick that that uh i i uh i was here first and i never left i didn't jump ship to go play other games man i stuck with paragon okay i'm in it more than anyone else bro i'm the fucking realest one more i uh i'm just really happy that uh, everyone's back here you know i'm just glad i'm glad that we finally found hope Maybe, for now. I don't know, we'll see. But, today we're gonna be talking about the hope for PS4. Is hope lost? What the fuck is going on? So, I wanted to bring this up because I know a lot of my viewership is from PlayStation, right? I've got a lot of comments always asking like, is it gonna be on PS4? Is it gonna be on PS4? Like, you can literally make an entire song, a four minute song, with the comments in my YouTube videos, and the only lyrics will be, is it coming to PS4, PS4, question mark, PS4, 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 question mark, like, you could just make an entire fucking song out of it, and, uh, I, I'm played on PS4 always, I play with mouse and keyboard, but I played on PS4, so, to me, obviously, it's very important as well, now, a lot of people join Paragon through PS4, right, there were more people playing on PS4 than there were through PC, and that's kind of obvious, because, well, PS4 is a cheaper option, right? There's more people, I'd say, I would I would assume, I would guess, like I didn't actually research this, but I would assume that there would be more people with PS4s than top-notch gaming PCs that could run Paragon at the same amount of quality as the PS4 did, right? That's just an assumption. And I know that there are some numbers out there that there ha there's definitely more PS4 Paragon players than there were PC players, so that's not... That's not a, a guess, that's an actual fact. And what does this mean? Like, we need to know if the next Paragon game will come to PS4. Now, both companies that I have talked to have said that they will definitely have PC, that's what they're building the game for, and they will try to bring it to PS4. Keyword, try. They're not promising anything yet. It's a goal that it comes to PS4. Now, before people start freaking out, like, oh no, they're gonna forget about the PS4 players, I wanna calm a few people down, right? First of all, it's super early in the development, like, it's kinda... The fact that I'm making videos on this so early is kinda stupid anyway. Like, I, I hate to, to be that person that has to, like, kinda make videos about nothing, but that's just kinda how YouTube works. Like, if I'm not gonna do it, then Bloodthirsty Lore is gonna come out with an overhyped video talking about it. So, like, I need to do it, right? And I'm the one that y'all have to, like, trust and verify up on this shit because I'm really into this. Like, I really do like talking about Paragon, and I've been talking about Paragon even when there was no hopes for a Paragon 2. I still talked about that shit because I apparently can't get over anything in my life, just like my first ex. But, we're gonna be talking. <laughs> the, the, the point here that I'm trying to make is that it's super early on in development. Of course they're not gonna confirm, oh yes, we're gonna bring it to PS4, if this is the first time that a lot of these guys are making a game in the first place, right? It's hard enough making a game, it's even harder bringing it over to a, a different kind of console, a different kind of machine that you're not used to. Because I'm not a big, in a you know, I'm not a tech guy, I'm not a computer science major, but I'm sure there has to something to do with the coding that's different for a console, a gaming console, than there is for a PC. Now, what a lot of games do, a lot of big AAA games, what they do, is they make it on PC first. Like, they create the games on PC. Every single game that is made is made on a PC, and then it is ported over to console. That is how games work. You go through the testing through PC, and then you t bring it over to console, and then you test it if it works on console, and yada, 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 yada. So games start on PCs, always. So this is nothing new. This is normal. It's completely normal. The fact that there are some, some companies, however, like exclusive companies, let's say like Naughty Dog, they do build their games, quote-unquote, from the ground up. 
on PlayStation, so it works on PlayStation, but they still do a lot of their coding and testing on the PC first. So there are exceptions. It's not 100% always on PC, but what I'm saying is this is totally normal. Like, the fact that they're starting on PC, it doesn't mean that they're not going to do PS4, but they're being cautious here and saying that they're trying to bring it to PS4, but they don't want to promise anything because everybody knows, especially in the rabid gaming community, if a developer promises something and then doesn't deliver, they are shunned for the rest of eternity, okay? I'm still waiting for Half-Life 3, bro. Still waiting for Left 4 Dead 3, okay? Like, they are shunned forever. They Nobody forgets about that shit, okay? Gamers, we got nothing up better to do with our time than play with ourselves and play with our friends online, okay? That's it. So, we, we gotta, we, you know, we hold on to this shit, right? So, they don't want to do something stupid. That's number one, okay? Number two was the fact that, like I said, they start off building stuff on PC, and then they go on and uh, port it over to the consoles, right? So, a third thing here that I want to mention is that a PS4 version will, if it does come, will 100% come after the PC version, okay? Now, the reason I believe this is... And I don't mean like full release. I mean, there's going to be a PC beta. They're going to run some stuff and they're going to have a PS4 version and then they're going to fully release the entirety of the game. This is not what they told me. This is what I'm assuming they will do. This is what I believe they should do. I don't think they should release the game, the marketable, purchasable game, or if it's going to be free, right, with all the, the skins and stuff, microtransactions, I'm sure it's going to be free. But they said they're going to have like a, they, 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 they're thinking about like a Founders Pass type deal. So maybe that might happen too in the beginning in the alpha and beta stages. But before they release it completely, they need to have both PC and console versions, right? They need to have both PC and console versions. Otherwise, it's not going to take off as much as it did. Because Paragon did get a giant boost from the PS4 players. Now, what I want to add on to that. That it's going to come out on PC first, and that's probably going to be a better thing. Because if it comes out on PS PC first, before it lands on PS4, it'll be easier to optimize the game on one system before bringing it to another system. Uh, and having to, like, it, think about this way, right? This happened with Paragon. When you had both the PC version and the PS4 version, things would get optimized. There would be glitches and bugs that would be fixed and stuff. But when it would be fixed for the PC version, there would be more issues arising on the PS4 version. This happened a couple times, right? Specifically in the frame rate department. Specifically in the lagging out of matches department, which is a really big deal, right? Lagging out of your match, that's a game killer. That makes you not want to play the game anymore. And so that's a really big fucking deal. So, bringing it out on PC first will help them optimize it for PC first, and then when they bring out a PS4 version, they can separately optimize that later. Now, what would make this even better, what would make this even better, and this is something that Baby Spine, I know, really loves to talk about, is if there was no crossplay between PC and PS4, because then you could have separate PC and PS4 servers, and you can optimize those servers separately. So that would make it even easier to optimize, it would make it even easier to have the game come out on PS4. Or, at the very least, have an option where you get to not play with PS4 players if you're on PC and vice versa. Because I know there's been a lot of PS4 casuals that have been like, oh man, I don't want to play against PC players. They just have an inert advantage, which they do. Alright, it's obvious. PC is always going to be stronger than PS4. So... There's this crazy outrage if it's coming to PS4, is it, is it not? We don't know yet. They're trying to bring it, and I'm just saying that it could totally happen. So don't be freaking out, because it can still happen. Y'all just have to wait a long time. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure I have a wonderful day.